Hi, my name is John, and this is Ari, and we're at IMAX's technology headquarters. Now, we watch a ton of movies, and we especially love watching them in IMAX, but we also really like the technology side of things, so we crashed IMAX in hopes that someone will be nice enough to show us some of the behind-the-scenes stuff and how the movie magic is made. Look who we found. It is the CTO of IMAX, Mr. Brian Bonnet. Brian, thanks again for having us. I just want to say, IMAX looks like a really cool place to work. I can't wait to see what you have in store for us today. Well, first let me thank you guys for coming. Uh, this is where we do all of our R&D, our manufacture, and our service of our products. And we're lucky. We have some fantastic engineers and scientists, very creative people. And I always like to say, this is where the magic happens. Well, I can't wait to see how the magic happens. Well, let's go and start the tour now. And I'll show you some of these really top secret cool things. All right. Come on with me. Let's do it. All right, Brian, we're in, a, we're in a warehouse with a bunch of boxes. Where are we? We're actually in the manufacturing facility of IMAX. This is where we, we build the products, test them, and then we ship them out to all our customers. So are you telling us that, that every single projector that's out there in the world comes from this place? Yeah, we actually shipped to over 52 countries. Uh, end of 2011, uh, we were shipping about six systems a week. We get quite a lot through, and we've got massive capacity to increase if we need to. A lot of the Hollywood filmmakers are really getting turned on to the IMAX camera technology. What you're actually seeing here is our 3D digital production camera. Mike, why don't you tell us a little bit about the camera? What, what's so special about this camera? Well, this is the first fully integrated large format 3D digital camera. That means that we've got both cameras built in one box and where previously the cameras were separated and you had to film through a, what was called the beam splitter, which is basically a mirror at 45 degrees. And like a giant box, right? The giant box. And <laughs> the giantness of it made it uh, rather difficult for filming and uh, very cumbersome to travel with. So uh, this camera here will be a very big advantage to the filmmaker and that, that's it. One of the neat things about this camera, because it's solid state, it actually starts capturing before you start shooting. So before you push the shoot button, it's constantly cycling capture. So if you're trying to capture something in wildlife, you know, if you're waiting for the animal to do something, by the time they've started doing it, you push the button, you've missed it. Okay. So it actually captures before you push the button. What you see is definitely the latest, uh, but on top of that, we're now considering the development of an IMAX 2D digital camera to supplement our film-based cameras and give the filmmakers the ability to capture like they presently do with IMAX film cameras, but in a digital medium for obvious reasons. That second half of the IMAX experience is sound. Our sound is developed again, ground up. So these loudspeakers, they're designed by us in-house to work specifically in the IMAX theater venue. If a helicopter is flying around the building, you want to hear it going in a circle around you. In IMAX, because of the discrete, uncompressed sound coming out of these things, we can move the sound around within the seating deck so that it gives you the feeling that you're experiencing it the way the filmmaker recorded it. We work with the filmmaker to digitally remaster the sound, taking advantage of our high dynamic range so you get this reality that you can't get with other systems. This is our prototype laser projector, and you can sort of see here, you got a blue channel of color, you got a green kind of showing through here, yeah. and you got a little bit of red showing down there. Yeah. They all get combined and they get fed through the optical engine here, out through the lens onto the screen. It's a crude prototype, it's, it's not reflective of what we would productize, um, but what it does do is show proof of concept and we use it as a test bed to test out how far can we push the limits of the system. And there Just you can see at, an image on the screen. Yeah, it looks crystal clear. It looks like we're actually seeing this happen. And you notice the blacks are really black. It's super bright, even though we've got camera light shooting at it. So are we? Are you being approached by any filmmakers yet to uh, use this technology with their films? We have had demos that we've done uh, with key clients, uh, studios, and filmmakers. And uh, the response was actually overwhelmingly positive, more so than we expected to get, which is wonderful. So does this actually change the way that filmmakers shoot their movies? It gives them a great deal more latitude in terms right. of brightness and contrast and color saturation. Right. You know, the, the colors that they're going to be able to see here are broader than that which you can achieve today with an existing xenon-based projector.
One of the most important things for IMAX is our brand, and our brand clearly stands for quality of presentation. Well, with hundreds of theaters around the world, we've got to find a way to ensure that they all look and sound the same day in and day out, and that they don't fail. This is our Knox Center where we control all of this. We monitor every single digital system, every show of every system, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Now one of the best things about working for IMAX is they've got their own IMAX theater. So we're just gonna kick back and watch some movies. I love the fact that they have their own theater. Try this one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>